The nine nutrients that are vital for your brain health and cognition. The brain is an energy-intensive organ, using around 20% of the body's calories, so it needs plenty of good fuel to maintain concentration throughout the day. The brain also requires certain nutrients to stay healthy. Eating a brain-boosting diet can support both short- and long-term brain function. Like autism among children, Alzheimer's among seniors has reached epidemic proportions, with no slowdown in sight. On the contrary, evidence indicates the trend is worsening. At present, Alzheimer's affects about 5.4 million Americans and is the third top cause of death in the U.S. The World Health Organization predicts that by 2050, one in six adults will probably be living with dementia. It's important to understand that dementia is a lifestyle predicated disorder, also there are lots of strategies that will assist in preventing this kind of neurodegeneration. In essence, anything that can help optimize your mitochondria will also help prevent Alzheimer's. You can find out more about the Alzheimer's prevention strategies in this video. Here, the focus is on specific nutrients shown to play an important role in brain health and cognition, beginning with marine-based omega-3, which comprises two long-chained fatty acids that are vital for brain health. Dicosahexanoic acid DHA, and Icosapentaenoic acid EPA. 1. Marine-based omega-3 fatty acid DHA. The influence of marine-based omega-3 fats on physical and mental health has been the subject of intense research for decades, and there's compelling evidence they can help ameliorate a variety of psychiatric illnesses and degenerative brain disorders, including Alzheimer's. Omega-3 fatty acid DHA is an essential structural component of your brain, and is found in high levels in your neurons, the cells of your central nervous system. When your omega-3 intake is inadequate, your nerve cells become stiff and more prone to inflammation as the missing omega-3 fats are substituted with omega-6 instead. Once your nerve cells become rigid and inflamed, proper neurotransmission from cell to cell and within cells become compromised. Low DHA levels have been linked to memory loss and Alzheimer's disease, and some studies suggest degenerative brain diseases may potentially be reversible with sufficient DHA. Memory deficits elderly saw significant improvement after taking 900 mg mg of DHA per day for 24 weeks, compared to controls. Furthermore, memory and rate of learning were significantly improved when DHA was combined with 12 mg of lutein per day. 2. Marine-based omega-3 fatty acid EPA. EPA, meanwhile, appears to be particularly beneficial in the treatment of depression, as it helps lower levels of tumor necrosis factor alpha, interleukin-1 beta and prostaglandin E2, three immune chemicals that tend to be elevated in those with depression. A stumbling block has been to get sufficiently large amounts into your brain. To raise your brain level of EPA, you'd need to consume impractically large amounts of fish oil, for example. One theory is that degradation by pancreatic enzymes renders the EPA incapable of passing the blood-brain barrier. However, recent research has discovered something really interesting. By using a lysophospholipid form of EPA, LPC -EPA they were able to increase the EPA level in the brain of mice 100-fold. Even more remarkable, LPC EPA also doubled the DHA level in the brain and retina, whereas free EPA had no effect on DHA levels. Because LPC EPA through diet increased both EPA and DHA in the brain, it may help treat depression as well as neuroinflammatory diseases, such as Alzheimer's disease. The importance of phospholipid bound omega 3. There are a number of drawbacks to fish oil, and the lack of phospholipids is one of them. DHA and EPA are water insoluble and therefore cannot be transported in their free form in your blood. They must be packaged into lipoprotein vehicles such as phospholipids. This is primarily why the bioavailability of krill oil is so much higher than fish oil, because in fish oil, the DHA and EPA are bound to triglycerides. When you consume fish oil, your liver has to attach it to phosphatidylcholine in order for it to be efficiently utilized by your body and brain. Importantly, your brain cannot readily absorb DHA unless it's bound to phosphatidylcholine, and while krill oil contains phosphatidylcholine naturally, fish oil does not. As the name implies, phosphatidylcholine is composed partly of choline, the precursor for the vital neurotransmitter acetylcholine, which sends nerve signals to your brain, and choline itself is crucial for brain development, learning and memory. 
Recent research by Rhonda Patrick, PhD, also highlights the value of DHA bound to phospholipids, showing this form may actually reduce the risk of Alzheimer's disease in those with the apolipoprotein E4 APOE4 gene, which lowers the typical age of onset of this degenerative brain disorder. 3. Choline helps fight Alzheimer's disease. Other recent research demonstrates the importance of choline for brain health and prevention of neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's. Choline is a precursor to acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter required for the proper function of your brain and nervous system, playing a role in fetal brain development, memory, muscle control, mood and gene expression. Choline helps protect against Alzheimer's by Reducing your homocysteine level, an amino acid that has been shown to cause neurodegeneration and is involved in the formation of amyloid plaques, two hallmarks of Alzheimer's. Choline converts homocysteine into methionine, which has a number of beneficial effects. Inhibiting microglia activation. Microglia cells clear debris from your brain, and while this is a crucial function, in Alzheimer's the microglia have a tendency to become overactivated, causing inflammation in the brain that can result in the death of neurons. By reducing activation of microglia, choline can help protect Alzheimer's patients from further brain damage. 4. Phosphatidylserine boosts cognitive function. Phosphatidylserine is another supplement that can help improve cognitive function and protect against Alzheimer's disease. Phosphatidylserine is an amino acid derivative that is highly prevalent in neural tissue and plays an important role in the cellular function in your brain. While your body can synthesize it on its own, you can also get it through food, such as mackerel, cod, egg yolks and organ meats, and or a phosphatidylserine complex supplement. In brain cell membranes, the phospholipid bilayer acts as a gatekeeper, regulating the entry beneficial substances, basically nutrients, water and oxygen, while eliminating metabolic waste. Supplementing with 400 mg of phosphatidylserine increased the speed of calculations done in short-term memory by 20% in a group of healthy adults and improved cognitive function of geriatric patients at 300 mg per day. Taken with DHA, it's also been shown to improve behavior and short-term auditory memory in children with ADHD. In patients with Alzheimer's, phosphatidylserine helps inhibit amyloid beta and interferon gamma-induced microglial activation. 5. Acetyl-L-carnitine protects against neurotoxic insults. Acetyl-L-carnitine has many beneficial effects on brain metabolism, protects against neurotoxic insults, and has been shown to benefit certain forms of depression. In one study, healthy mice given Alcar for 25 days at a dose of about half a gram per kilo, were found to have increased levels of the neurotransmitters noradrenaline and serotonin. This is consistent with ALCAR's potential efficacy for depressive symptoms. Alcar was found to improve the clinical condition and slow the progression of degenerative cerebellar ataxia patients, a condition resulting in the loss of control of bodily movements. 6. Vitamin D protects against memory loss. Activated vitamin D receptors increase nerve growth in your brain, and researchers have also located metabolic pathways for vitamin D in the hippocampus and cerebellum, areas involved in planning, information processing and memory formation. According to research published in the Journal of Neurology, Neurosurgery and Psychiatry, low vitamin D is associated with poorer brain function, and increasing levels may help keep older adults mentally fit. Vitamin D deficiency is associated with a substantially increased risk of all-cause dementia and Alzheimer disease. Vitamin D has also been shown to improve a number of brain disorders, including dementia and Alzheimer's disease. In one six-year study, those with severe vitamin D deficiency were more than twice as likely to develop dementia and Alzheimer's than those with higher levels. Even those with moderate deficiency had a 53% increased risk for all forms of dementia, and 69% increased risk for Alzheimer's specifically. The findings also suggest there's a threshold level of circulating vitamin D, right around 20 nanograms per milliliter, 50 nmol, L, below which your risk for dementia increases. Higher levels were associated with good brain health. Ideally, you'd want to raise your level by getting sensible sun exposure, but if you cannot, consider an oral vitamin D3 supplement balanced with magnesium and vitamin K2. 7. Vitamin B12 deficiency wreaks havoc on cognitive function. Vitamin B12 is another important player. 
Research shows people with high levels of markers for vitamin B12 deficiency are more likely to score lower on cognitive tests and have a smaller total brain volume, which suggests a lack of B12 may contribute to brain shrinkage. Mental fogginess and problems with memory are two of the top warning signs that you have vitamin B12 deficiency, and this is indicative of its importance for your brain health. Finnish researchers have also found that people who consume foods rich in B12 may reduce their risk of Alzheimer's in their later years. Another study found that supplementing with B vitamins, including B12, helps to slow brain atrophy in elderly people with mild cognitive impairment. Vitamin B12 deficiency is widespread and many have trouble absorbing this nutrient properly from food sources. B12 is available in its natural form only in animal food sources such as seafood, beef, chicken, pork, milk and eggs. If you rarely or never consume these animal products, you're at particularly high risk of B12 deficiency. 8. MCT oil boosts brain performance. One of the primary fuels your brain needs is glucose, which is converted into energy. Your brain actually manufactures its own insulin to convert glucose in your bloodstream into the food it needs to survive. If your brain's production of insulin decreases, your brain literally begins to starve, as it's deprived of the glucose-converted energy it needs to function normally. This is what happens to Alzheimer's patients, portions of their brain start to atrophy, or starve, leading to impaired functioning and eventual loss of memory, speech, movement and personality. In effect, your brain can begin to atrophy from starvation if it becomes insulin resistant and loses its ability to convert glucose into energy. Fortunately, your brain is able to run on both glucose and ketones, and ketones are actually better. Ketones are what your body produces when it converts fat as opposed to glucose into energy, and a primary source of ketone bodies are medium-chain triglycerides MCT. Coconut oil is very rich in MCT, then it can be a concentrated source of ketones for your brain. Ketones appear to be the preferred source of energy for the brain in people affected by diabetes, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's and maybe even ALS, because in these diseases, certain neurons have become insulin resistant or have lost the ability to efficiently utilize glucose. As a result, neurons slowly die off. The introduction of ketones may rescue these neurons and they may still be able to survive and thrive. In multiple studies, ketones have been shown to be both neurotherapeutic and neuroprotective. They also appear to lower markers of systemic inflammation. As noted by Mental Health Daily, MCT supplementation boosted cognition in individuals with cognitive impairment and mild forms of Alzheimer's disease after just a single dose. 9. Probiotics feed your second brain. As your second brain, the state of your gut also plays an important role in your neurological and psychological health. Probiotics have been shown to reduce symptoms of depression and decrease pathological hallmarks of Alzheimer's, including amyloid plaques and tangles. In one study, the probiotic strain L. plantarum MTCC1325 was identified as having these anti-Alzheimer's properties. In another study, published in Frontiers in Aging Neuroscience, 60 elderly patients diagnosed with Alzheimer's received either a placebo or a probiotic milk products containing Lactobacillus acidophilus, Lactobacillus casse, Bifidobacterium bifidum and Lactobacillus fermentum for 12 weeks. At the beginning and end of the study, participants underwent a standardized cognitive assessment and a highly sensitive C-reactive protein test, which is a powerful marker of inflammation. As reported by neurologist Dr. David Perlmutter. The results of the study were stunning. The placebo group showed an increase in HSCRP, the inflammation marker, by an impressive 45%. In the group taking the probiotic, on the other hand, HSCRP didn't just stay the same, but actually declined by 18%, indicating a dramatic reduction in inflammation. Over the 12 weeks, the patients in the placebo continue to decline mentally, as you might expect. Their MMSE mini mental state examination score dropped from 8.47 to 8.00, a substantial reduction. But the group on the inflammation-reducing probiotics actually demonstrated, not a decline in brain function, but an actual improvement, with their MMSE scores going from 8.67 up to 10.57, and that's a huge improvement. Again, not only was their mental decline stopped in its tracks, these individuals regained brain function. 
The message here is that inflammation is directly determined by the health and diversity of our gut bacteria, and this has major implications in terms of brain health, function and disease resistance. Thanks for watching. Please like share this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Healthy Lifestyle. Thank you.